back with another video. So I just learned that I'm bleeding. Yeah. I have a little tissue over it. But it's not a bad bleed. I didn't even notice I was. I had a razor blade in my hand, okay? Don't don't blame me. Anyways, um Yeah. Ow, dang it. Ow. It ripped off my skin when I ripped off the tissue. Maybe I'll put this away right now. Okay. So today is another at last reading or reading at last, I think. <laughs> But first, puppy of the day, of course. How could I forget? So, our last puppy was the one on the cover. Here's the next puppy. It's an adorable pug, okay? Everybody loves pugs, so don't get mad at me. One of just for fun. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the third one. Oh, it's so cute! I'll just show you guys two every day. How about that? Because they're so cute, you can't really miss the show any. Just one when they do the thing. Like, oh my gosh. Let's put this back. And then, get on with the reading. Okay, this is called Snoopy's Two Minute Story. We may be reading two of these, you know, for four minutes. But everybody likes Snoopy. Come on, he's a dog. Who doesn't like dogs? Okay, so, let's open this. Oh, what? I have a lotto ticket. I don't know where this came from. I'm going to go give this to somebody. I will be right back. Okay, so this is by... Um, it does not say who it's by. I can't find where it says who it's by. But it's including stories about Snoopy, Charlie Brown, Lucy Linus, and many more Peanuts favorites. Okay. So let's get started with our book. So, I'm not sure what level this is. I haven't read this book in quite a while. Oh. Peanuts characters in Charlie Brown. Okay. Text by Justin Carman. Carmen. Background illustrations by R and Kim Ellis. It's a dog's life. One day, as Snoopy trotted behind Peanuts, Peanuts gang, gang on their way to school, Linus said, Snoopy is so lucky. I wish I were a dog. One second, I need to sit. <sighs> Snoopy is so lucky. I wish I were a dog. Charlie Brown agreed. Dogs don't have to go to school or anything. It must be a great to be a dog. Ha, Snoopy thought. They don't know how tough my life is. When the kids got home from school that day, Snoopy knew he was right. No one wanted to play baseball with a dog or marbles or, or checkers. Snoopy wasn't good at hopscotch, and he certainly couldn't. And he certainly, cer certainly couldn't play the piano like Scrooginer. I can't read names that well. When Snoopy tried to get a lick off of Lucy's ice cream cone, she screamed, "Dodgers!" and ran away. It's a dog's life, Snoopy said sadly. From 
his doghouse, Snoopy could see Charlie Brown. Sorry? I'm very sorry about this. Okay. Huh. From his doghouse, Snoopy could see Charlie Brown being knocked out of his socks on a picture on the pitcher's mound. After the baseball game, Snoopy saw Charlie Brown building a sandcastle. As soon as he finished the castle, Lucy kicked it down. After Charlie Brown tried to fix his kite, it never got on the ground. But the string went everywhere and Charlie Brown ended up tried tied to a tree. Then it was time for Charlie Brown to do his homework. Snoopy star started, stared at the math problems until his head started to spin. After he finished the homework, Charlie Brown had to clean up his room and set the ta table dinner. Snoopy was beginning to think that being a dog wasn't so bad after all. Work, 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 Charlie Brown grunted grumbled that's all i ever do around here take out three garbage feed the dog feed the dog snoopy thought it's supper time snoopy ran happy in circles around charlie brown the snoopy settled into delicious dinner it's too bad everyone isn't as lucky enough to be a dog he thought By the way, I'm sorry if there's a little bit of a shimmer. There's a piece of tape right here. Because when um, I got this book from my school, uh, the page was ripped because someone kept on messing with it. Okay. And that's um, our two minute Charlie Brown story. It wasn't really two minutes, it was more like four minutes. <laughs> and I hope you like the story. Make sure to like and subscribe, and that's it for today's Reading at Last story. Thank you!